Welcome to Rare Earth Entertainment's REE View. Rare Earth Entertainment's REE View is brought to you by Rare Earth Entertainment, maker of the entertainer, the only piece of home entertainment equipment you'll ever need. MKV, MV4, FLAC, it doesn't matter. The entertainer can play it. Please visit our online store at rareearthentertainment.com. That's all one word, Rare Earth entertainment.com Hello, my name is J. Anthony Gadsby and this week's review my ramblings on Kiko Matsui's Soul Quest This week there'll be no review I bit off more than I can chew My original intent was to review Kiko Matsui's Soul Quest which is a truly beautiful album The problem is, instrumental jazz is a little out of my reviewer's wheelhouse. Not that I've never listened to it. I own a considerable chunk of Charlie Parker's and Miles Davis's discographies, not to mention any number of predominantly instrumental albums by The Chieftains and Andreas Vollenweider. So it's not that I haven't been exposed, it's that I'm lazy. Making fun of Avril Lavigne is easy. I can do that in my sleep, and often have. Explaining the layered complexities of Matsu's Black Lion, I don't know if I can do that in 500 words, or even 5,000. I just can't rattle something off the top of my head this time. I'd have to research. I'd have to know things like how she's been recording since 1987, and that while she's regarded as a Japanese pianist, she's been residing in Los Angeles, so we can claim her now. I'd have to tell you how when the United States President George W. Bush visited the Japanese Prime Minister in 2002, Kiko was invited to the reception. Then I'd have to go on to tell you how she discovered the saxophonist Paul Taylor, and how her 1997 mini-CD, A Gift of Hope, went to support the Why Me National Breast Cancer Organization. Eventually, I'd have to get back to Soul Quest and tell you how Chuck Loeb before play produced the bulk of the tracks and how such notables as Will Lee, Marcus Miller, Fernando Saunders, Kirk Wallam, David Mann, Adam Snitzler, Brian Dunn, all appeared on the album. I'd also have to explain how this many guests is something of a departure from her previous work. Finally, I'd have to admit that I'd never listened to a Kiko Mitsuri album before and stood transfixed through all 10 tracks. Ultimately, I'd tell you to buy it, but that's only if I was reviewing this album. Really, I have no idea what to say. So, I'll be back next week with a review. Well, that's it for this week. I'll be back next Sunday with an all-new episode. Until then, Kiko, take it away.